This is to show you the three stapler technique for jejunogejunostomies. The first step is to raise the heavy omentum and lift up the mesocolon. Then you identify the ligament of trit and measure the bowel for a limb length of around 35 to 50 centimeters. You make a small little window in the mesentery of the bowel and then apply the first stapler. You hold on for around 15 seconds to make sure there's no bleeding. You then put a clip to identify the biliopancreatic limb from the alimentary limb, always constantly putting it on either of the limb which you're used to. I usually put it on the alimentary limb. I then measure a distance of around 75 centimeters to prevent reflux of bile and make a small little window in the anti-mesentric border. You also make a small little window in the biliopancreatic limb to do a side-to-side jejunogejunostomy with the 60 centimeters stapler. If you're using tri-stapler, you use a tan cartridge or you use white staplers if you're using uh, the other staplers. You always inspect inside to see there is any bleeding and at this point of time to identify that bleeding. In a three-stapler technique, you then take a stay suture just to hold up the cut edges. Your assistant holds it up and then you apply a stapler making sure that the limb is not obstructed so that there is no obstruction to the distal flow of the ingested material. You look for any bleeding and you can either suture it or apply clips. The next step is to close the mesentric defect. You always use a non-absorbable suture and preferably a monofilament suture. You never close it interrupted. You always close it in a continuous fashion to make sure that the small gaps in the mesentery are completely sutured and closed. I usually use proline 2O and end it with a broline suture to prevent kinking. 